Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? I have. Um, actually, a couple times. Uh, there's been times where I feel like I'm not doing enough and I'll see and or I'll see comments like, oh, why are you, why are you doing this or why are you doing that? So it kind of gets like mentally draining, um, but I haven't yet. I just take really long breaks <laughs> in between my posting. So yeah. Um, if you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? If I could find one thing about my future, what it would be? Um, did I make my parents proud? I think that's like the, yeah. If you could have a dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I've never been to Hawaii. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Um, and probably jump off like, like waterfalls or all that stuff, like excursions. Uh, fun outdoorsy stuff. I, th I think that that would be the yeah, like Hawaii would be really fun. If you could take control of anyone's Instagram account for one day, who would it be and why? Oof, that's too much power. Um, whose Instagram would I love to control? I think it would be dope to like control Drake's Instagram. Like going through Drake's DMs is probably the craziest thing. Ever. Okay, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? One meal. I've, I've been on a, a health kick and my like go-to is like ground turkey, rice, and avocado. So I can live off that for the rest of my life. I think, I think. Okay, what advice would you give to your past self? Keep going. Um, I think that's a, the best advice I've ever gotten is just not give up uh, and don't let little things uh, just bring you down. That's pretty much the best advice that I've ever gotten and will always live by that. I try to. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Be consistent. <laughs> And it's funny coming from me, but be consistent. Um, do not let uh, comments really dictate what you want to do on social media, whether it's vlogging or um, food reviews or whatever. Don't let, don't look too deep into comments because they can be very, um, I, I don't know. It, it can, it can definitely have a negative effect sometimes. So just don't look at comments, just keep posting, be consistent, and you'll be very successful. Um, what are your favorite movies of all time? My favorite movie of all time, my favorite series of all time has to be the Fast and Furious series. Like, Fast and Furious 1, Too Fast, Too Furious, Tokyo Drift. Those three movies are my favorite movies. All the other ones are kind of like, those are the those are my favorite three movies. I, mean, I I think I'm all I've watched those movies probably like I don't know maybe easily easily like a hundred times. <laughs> what is something most people who follow you don't know about you? What's something that most people don't? A lot of people surprisingly don't know that I can speak Spanish. It's I have it on my profile, but I think it's because I don't ever really speak Spanish in my videos or anything like that. But my first language is Spanish. I am Colombian. Um, but most people get really surprised when I can actually speak Spanish. So, I don't know. What is your biggest pet peeve? Uh, my biggest pet peeve? Uh, people who chew with their mouth open. I don't really like people that chew with their mouth open. I think it's, eh, I don't know. What is your favorite birthday memory? My favorite birthday memory has to be, honestly, my, my birthday last year was pretty crazy. Um, only because uh, I went to Miami and just had a blast. And it was, there was just a lot of things going on that day, or that week that I was there, that it just made it just like 10 times 
better and I was there with friends and all that stuff. So I think last year, uh, 2021 was definitely a great birthday. What is your favorite video that you've ever posted? My favorite video that I've ever posted. My favorite video that I've ever posted, uh, I think right now, uh, I'm currently doing a trade up series where I trade a penny into a Tesla. I think it's such an interesting series for me to do just because it puts me out of my comfort zone. So I think that's like my favorite video that I've ever done, to be completely honest. Just, it's very out of the ordinary for me to do. So, like that. When did you first go viral? <laughs> oh man. Um, I went viral back in like, I wanna say like, 20, like 2014 ish, something like that. And it's because I did a grind on me video on Vine. <laughs> and that's the mo like that's, yeah. <laughs> if you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Hard headed, driven, Passionate, loyal for sure. I think, I think, yeah. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Chris, ah, mm, wait. I think my, my, can I say my birthday? I think my, my, my birthday. That's a, that's a holiday. Uh, that, that's, that's a holiday. I'll, I'll take my birthday. And Christmas. Who are your role models? Um, my parents, my mother especially. Uh, I think just because she just pushes me to uh, the best of my abilities and furthermore, and I, I've just learned so much from her um, that she will always be my role model. Her and my, my dad as well, so those two, those two people are very important. Which one of your accomplishments are you most proud of? Which one of my accomplishments am I most proud of? Definitely hitting 100K on it, on uh, on YouTube. Hitting 100K on YouTube is was was a very dope feeling um, because I don't know. I feel like long form content, in my opinion, is just a little bit harder to do because you have to entertain a little bit longer. Um, and seeing as how a hundred thousand people subscribed to me and wanted to watch my video at some point or videos at some point is so crazy to me. So I, I, I am so, so proud of myself. Um, and I, I think that's one of my best accomplishments yet. Um, I think the next one will most likely be 1 million subscribers. So I'm excited to look forward to that.